Hello, friends. Happy Thursday afternoon. How are you? I'm so glad to be here, and I'm so glad you're joining me. If you are joining me, I would love it if you would hit the heart button and then just leave me a little comment and let me know where you're watching me from, especially if it's your first time. If it's not your first time, just say hi. iPad yet that I'm live. Hey, hey, hi there. I am here. Uh, I don't know if you could still see me or not, but hang on for me. I'm going to pull up so I can see. Usually it'll tell me I'm live and I can go right to it but it's not. I want to make sure I can see any comments. I don't have my contacts in again today because uh, my eye just felt terrible yesterday. Um, so I tried to give it a break today and today it is just watering like crazy. So I apologize guys. My allergies are worse today I think than they have been. I have one day this week where they were a little bit better. I don't know. It's overcast here. Bear with me. It's not even showing. It says live on my phone. There we go. There we go, and it wasn't saying live on my iPad, so bear with me. There I am. Okay, perfect. It's kind of weird to see yourself, but I can at least see the comments that way. Okay, yay, there we go. Hello. But as I was saying, my, God, my allergies are bad today. It's overcast. It's not windy or anything. It's overcast, and it's... um. Let's see, I can't tell what the temperature is. I think it was in the mid 70s. It was pretty overcast earlier. I had to take the doggo, our sweet zero, to the um, groomer this morning. So ran him over there at 10 and I actually had to have a jacket on. It was pretty chilly. And picked him back up around one. He's all handsome and smells nice and Got his little uh, paws groomed and his nails groomed. We have hardwood floors, so if he gets running with um, the little guy, Keegan, or um, my other sons, if they get moving around the house fast and he's trying to chase them, he slips and slides because of his, um, you know, the paw. The hair grows in between the paws and then his little nails are all, anyway. Anyway, Wayne got him all fixed up and he's all handsome and he has his little bandana on and, um, he is so funny. I don't know if your dogs are like this or not. He's a golden. And um, I don't know. He's just like, he identifies with his collar and his, uh, we've been putting bandanas on him since he was little, just because it's cute. And um, I usually change him out for the season and different stuff like that. I did it with my other dogs too. He'll have sweaters on in the winter and for, uh, yeah, even has Christmas pajamas <laughs> because we're just um, weird like that. But do you do that to your fur babies too? I mean, there are kids, right? And luckily my son who's 17, that's whose dog it really is. Uh, technically, he doesn't mind. So as long as it's not girly looking, he's okay <laughs> with it. So anyway, I took his other bandana off him that I had on him just in general because they always put a new, they have a little one that they always put on him when I get him groomed. So I knew they were gonna be putting that on him, so I took his other one off, and you would have thought I just ripped off part of his ear. Uh, he was very upset about it. And uh, usually if you take his collar off to give him a bath, um, when we do that here, or, or even just at the groomers, I, you know, they put a little lead leash on him, and then I took the collar off of him and had his leash, and he's frantic. He's like, give me that back. Like, it's his identity. He's just so funny with it. He's adorable, but um, yeah. Um, so it did warm up some, but it's still pretty overcast. Um, and I don't know what the rest of the day is gonna look like, but I guess that's why my allergies are in such bad shape. I'm not sure. Um, oh, but I got my grandma shirt on today. I thought it was very fallish looking. I did get it with that idea with my sunflower and, um, I've had this for a couple years now. So I thought it would be a good shirt to wear today. And um, I wanted to tell you the one thing I keep forgetting to mention about our club, because today is the last day that um, the September club, and I did, I have one more piece to glue on to my banner. Finally found some things in the rest of my bins 
One more thing to uh, glue on my banner. I'm going to take a picture of it today to remind everybody. But today's the last day you can get this um, transfer. It's September 30th, the last day uh, to get the... Um, Hello, Autumn. That's what I thought it said. Um, transfer for the exclusive September Club Couture. So I just want to make sure I remind you guys of that. You have until, um, actually not midnight our time, it's midnight mountain time. So I guess that's really 2 a.m. tonight. And then after that, it's gone. It disappears. It'll be gone. But the other thing I forgot to mention to you about the club is when you get in that, and I don't, I, I may have said this before in my videos, but I, I feel like I've forgotten to say it somewhere else. But um, when you join the club, is your very first um, shipment that comes to you, and if you order it today for September, they will go ahead and ship it out. They're not going to wait until they send the October one to um, send it. They'll go ahead and send it out. You will get your very own version of our paper catalog. Of course, all of this is available online. All the items are uh, available in my shop online. But you, sometimes it's nice to have a hard copy. I have one that's just for me so I can write in it and make notes and say, oh, I got this, but oh, I want this and etc. But I just wanted to let you know, you will get that um, with your club order as well. And anytime a new catalog comes out, they'll also send you one. So you don't even have to think about it or ask for it. Um, you know, some people don't like to have them. I like them because of ideas. Like when I was getting ready to pull out our project for today, I thought, you know what, let me look again because I've seen people um, in my designer group that I've watched and seen how they've done theirs. I want to kind of do my own thing, but I also wanted to see some ideas. So I thought, let me pull out the catalog and see what, uh, how they, they did the project that we're going to do today. So it's a great idea book. And, um, I would, I would say that not everything in here, not every surface is one that is just what we sell. I think they do projects in here too. I'd have to go back and start looking. The ones I just glanced at are not. They're all surfaces we sell, which obviously we want you to see how they would look on our surfaces. But um, the um, the ideas in here are awesome. I mean, they take a lot of time to make sure that they really give you some good ideas. And if you're in my VI peeps group, I do try to also share ideas from other designers um, as well, I'm happy to do that. My ideas are not the only ideas. Um, you may have your own ideas, but maybe you just wanna see something else just to get your own idea, like to compile some, some you know, creative juices going. But um, I just thought I would show you. So like, this is just a whole section just on the fall um, and autumn type things that we have. You know, told you about my pumpkins. We're gonna be doing those. Those will probably be next week. Um, I have this cute sign here to do. Um, there's our trucks that we did, see? Showing you them, showing you how you can use them and what you can do, showing you some other ideas for other, uh, that's an actual sign that you can make, like a porch laner sign. And I apologize, if you see me, I'm getting ready to sneeze, I'm sorry. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Guys, I had two allergy pills in me, two different types, one at night and one in the morning, and a nose spray and eye drops. Ooh, sorry about that. And I don't keep sugar in my diet, so I don't know why I have allergies hitting me so badly. But anyway, just shows you some ideas. And there's another one I have that I want to show you, um, that project. I've been look, deciding on the best surface I want to use it. Here's showing your... Here's the leaves that we're gonna do today. Um, and this, all the other, I think I mentioned that flannels and football, look how cute that is, that we'll be doing. Um, you know, there's all of the different, all those pages right there are just, all of those are all fall and autumn. Isn't that cute? Now see, there's that pumpkin, anything that I have back there. It looks so cute on a cutting board, one of our little cutting boards. There's the gourd one on our little bistro spinner. That looks adorable. I have this transfer. I can't wait to do it. I think I might pull some of these elements off and put them on my coffee mug. I was trying to decide. I'm like, hmm. I even have a black coffee mug that I might um, put something on it, do one of these on, because I just thought those elements are really cute. And then, of course, you got a, a little bit of... Um, a lot of the fall also works for, Hall uh, not Halloween, sorry, Thanksgiving. Yeah. And it just shows you different ideas. Tea towels. I do have tea towels that um, I want to 
show you a project and then it moves right over into Halloween, all the lovelies for Halloween. And we are definitely going to start on that. So the, um, I just wanted to show you guys that. So you knew you get that with your club subscription and it's a great idea book. Um, if you are interested in getting that for another reason, just contact me and I'll see what we can do. Okay. I'd be happy to help you with that. Um, so anyway, today I didn't, I did not cut it out but I wanted to go ahead and show you what we're gonna work on. Remember I told you we're gonna do our lovely, It's they're called leaf cutouts, but obviously that's an acorn, right? So we have an oak leaf. I'm pretty sure that's an oak leaf. If I'm wrong, y'all tell me. I'm pretty sure that's an oak leaf. I'm pretty good at recognizing, I don't know why my dad always gave me the ability to recognize different trees and plants and stuff like that. So I just hold on to that. I like to remember, but I think that's an oak leaf, which I should know because Raleigh is considered the city of oaks. By the way, if you're joining me for the first time, my name is Susan. This is Expressions in Chalk. I am an independent designer. I use Chalk Couture um, um, supplies to create awesome projects for around your house, for decor, for your home, for gifts, for your clothing, for all different things. So uh, that's who I am. I live right uh, in kind of central North Carolina, right outside of Raleigh, not far outside of Raleigh. So that's why I say I should know that because it's called the City of Oaks. I think that's an oak. I know that's a maple and that's always my favorite. I love the maple leaves. And this looks really cute with, um, we, we can sell our products in the US and Canada. That's the only two countries right now that we can sell in. But uh, we actually have a big Canada pack of um, transfers as well because you know they have their Thanksgiving coming up in October actually. And then um, of course you got the, you know they're well known for their maple leaves and their maple products so that's one of my favorites so this is the coordinating transfer that goes with it and as i mentioned before these are already kind of whitewashed so they're nice durable piece of wood just like the truck that i did the other day um they're already whitewashed if you don't like it whitewashed if you don't want it that color you can paint it with chalk paint or acrylic paint or you can kind of stain it with our um, with our chalk paste, watered down, and then like a baby wipe. Um, a, well, you could do a baby wipe or watered down with a paintbrush. So you don't have to keep them wiped like this, but I am. I'm just gonna leave them that way. And then this is the coordinating transfer that goes with it. Let's see, maybe I'll put it this way. Okay, so you, it is double-sided, as you see. You can do both sides. Today, I'm only gonna do the fall. The fall patterns okay this is kind of considered um halloween patterns and if you when you first look at this you may say oh that's just a pattern but if you look at it closer you'll notice this actually is a pattern that we have on a big scale like this almost this size i think this is a c-size transfer um do you see the cat see the cats in there feline it's called feline something, I can't remember. It's in the catalog, but it's a whole, you can do a whole big print or use it as a background for that. Um, but when you first look at it, you think, oh, it's just kind of a cool pattern. But that's, oh, sorry guys, I'm trying to figure out. There you go, the camera. But it is feline, see? And then of course the polka dots and the little stripes. So those are kind of fun for Halloween. You know, obviously you would just pick Halloween colors. They don't have to be Halloween. They're not specifically Halloween. You can even use these transfers. Obviously I'm gonna use them on the shapes, but you can use these in other places too. Um, you know, I could use this on a coffee mug. I could put just this transfer on a coffee mug and do what I wanted. Uh, I can mix and match it. Now I love this, but I have not figured out how I wanna use it yet. I was just thinking when I looked, I forgot it was even on here to be honest with you. I didn't pull the transfer out until today, but um, I forgot it was on here and that would have looked adorable on our, um, so you remember I told you we have that, the four sided, maybe I'll do it anyway. The wood that goes along with the pickup trucks and I did Welcome Autumn. Wouldn't that kind of be cute on there in the background? to put that in the background and then put like in a light color or a very subtle color and then put hello autumn over top of it in a bolder one and they do that. I haven't decided, but we're, we're probably not gonna use this one today. Um, we're just gonna do the leaves. I think that'll be enough for us today. And um, I have to, have to brainstorm on what else. And I was thinking, oh, he might even, that might, might even be cute on the gnome that I did. You remember that's, um, uh, what is that? Six by 18 size. 
Um, so that would even that would work with one of the gnomes. I should have done it with my little um, my little woodland, my little autumn gnome, I guess. But I still haven't gotten pom poms. I need to go shopping for it and put it on my list and focus on it. And I keep forgetting. So we're not going to use this one today, but there's all kinds of cool uses. You could even put that on like a glass. Um, you know, they're flexible. Our transfers are flexible. So if you had like a, a hurricane. Um, candle like with a the glass on the top or if you had some kind of lantern um something like that you could put it around the side you could do it around a canister around a, uh if you have a amber jar that's big enough you could put that around it and do it in our ooh, it's pretty pretty the copper and the pumpkin and the harvest wouldn't that show up pretty on an amber jar I don't have one uh, that's big enough for that. I have some mason jar size that are pretty big mason jars, but not big enough for that, that are smooth. But you could do that as well. There's always, always, always ideas. Anyway, let's get started, okay? I have to pick my little guy up from school, from preschool today. I didn't take him, I had to pick him up. So I've gotta be finished up in plenty of time to clean my supplies and then go and run and get him. So I'm just going to cut off the transfers that I need today. And if you're catching this on a replay, I would love to know that too. Just do put in the comments, hashtag replay. Um, I would love to know if it's your first time joining me. And if you have any friends that you think would be interested in just watching some crafts or learning about this, you know, just need a way to de-stress, um, please tag them and sprinkle my video. You guys are the heart of my business. You're the reason I'm doing this is because I want to share the love of creating. I'm going to set that aside. Uh, I want to share the love of creating with you guys. This brings me joy. Being able to come up here and share it with you guys brings me joy. Okay, so now I have my three. I've already marked on the front of each one of them to remind me which is the front. And then I've marked on the back so that when I get done... Uh, using them and cleaning them, I can know which backer sheet they go back on. The white part is called a backer sheet. And um, you'll see there's a little, this is silk screen. This is not a stencil, it's a silk screen transfer. Oop. And you'll see there's a little line that they put there for you to kind of show you how you can cut it. They are reusable a dozen or more times, depending on how well you take care of them. You want to just Clean it in your sink when you're finished with cool water, and you can use your hand or a board eraser, which uh, are also available in a two-pack in my shop, and um, or you can use a cleaning wipe, like a Lysol wipe, if you really needed to. But you just take them to clean them. At, you take them and clean them after you're finished with your project. You don't want to let it sit in there because you don't want your chalk to dry in your silk screen and not be able to get it off and then damage it for future use because you can reuse this in lots of different ways. Well, how cute would these be on your front door? Like if you have, um, even if you had a metal door or if you have a glass door, I have a wood door, wooden door, wood door, a wooden door with glass panes. So I can't, I might be able to get like some of these guys. The maple might be too big. I don't know, I might try it and show you guys just so you can see how versatile it is. But you could even put this on your door so you could have um, fall outside if you don't have leaves falling. What if you lived in an area that doesn't even have? And the one thing I did not take time to do today, guys, <clears throat> that I usually do and I should have done, but I was busy and I wanted to make sure I was on time, um, is I did not put wax on my wood to prepare it. Now, we've told you before, or I've told you before, you want to put some surface wax on your wood to protect your transfer so that when you go to pull it off, uh, it will come off easily and not tear or distort it. They're a little tougher than they look, but you still don't want to ruin your transfer. I don't anyway, and I would assume you don't. And um, I'm going to sneeze again. Wow, today is just really... <coughs> Bless me. I am so sorry. Um, you want to also, you know, just even out your wood so your stencil... Not stencil, your transfer. It's not a stencil. Never say stencil. It's not a stencil. I don't know why I even said that. Your transfer does not, uh, so it adheres well. 
and is even so that the paste does not go underneath it. So you usually do that about 15 to 20 minutes before you work on your project. There's directions right on the back of this. You just peel that back, it tells you uh, how to do it. And then once you've put it on there, you're gonna buff it. And again, it just kind of smooths out your area and makes it prepared. And it will tell you that on the pack. When you get these leaves, there's a little, uh, it's gonna come in a plastic, I showed you unboxing it, oh, I don't know, a couple months ago. <laughs> it feels like, probably was. It was probably end of July, beginning of August when I got these. Um, it, it comes already in like a, a package with sealed, kind of like yesterday's project, you know, with the plastic and the cardboard and what have you. But it's going to have a little tag on there and it's going to tell you what you need to do. It's going to tell you it's a one-time use. It's going to tell you use surface wax. Uh, we do sell this in my online store, but you can also get surface wax on, um, I'm sure at your favorite craft store, you can check. And all I did then was just buff it to make sure I didn't have any clumps on there. And then I'm kind of rubbing it into the wood, just preparing my wood. Now it is single use, one time use, but I'll tell you if you do this project and you hate it or you do it and you say, you know what, I want to make them different for another season. Maybe you want to make them uh, Christmas or you want to make them uh, winter looking. You could do a couple different things. You can, you, you're not going to be able to just wipe it off like you can on a chalkboard or on a other surface like glass. Um, you can sand it down and then you can reuse it or you could paint over it and then make sure you wax it no matter what you do uh, before you use the transfer again. But you can reuse it that way, but they are considered single use. Um, they're just double-sided. So, all right. I haven't really thought through a whole lot. Um, I've just had a busy day. <laughs> but I haven't really thought through a whole lot how I wanted exactly to do the leaves. So we're tr I'm trying to decide whether I'm gonna do the hot mess technique on all of them or whether you whether I should do, and I've pulled out all my shimmers because that's what I like is shimmer. You can do any color on there, guys. You can do the oranges, you can do yellows, you can do greens. You could even do them in your house colors if that's not your colors. Um, I could do them in teal and orange if I wanted to. I'm not, I'm gonna do them in, um, and the shimmer colors because I love the shimmers and I've pulled them all out so for me with a maple leaf I feel like I always see um, orange and green those are my favorite when they do that so I may just do two colors on um, each one and then so let's set that aside let's say that and now let's work with the oak leaf we could do I keep going back to the purple with the acorn but I don't know if that's what I want to do or not or if I just want to do it in typical I could do that and I could do that I wonder if those two would show up um, I feel like you need a light and a dark is the only problem How about we do that? What do you guys think? Let me look at my little acorn pattern too. Yeah, I think we could do that. And we'll just do the hot mess technique. I'll just kind of show you what that looks like. Um, pretty easy. I'm gonna need some spatulas. Oh, ooh, I'm gonna need quite a few spatulas. Let me pull these out. So these are just our little, they come in a pack. You don't have to use these. You can use like a little spoon if you have a little of your own spoon. It could even be a plastic knife or something. Um, you can use these to stir your, your um, paste with, but you can also use it to scoop a little bit out if you wanted. So since I'm doing the hot mess technique, I'm not gonna be able to put it back in. So I'm gonna put the paste directly onto the transfer from the jars. Um, and we do not sell all of our shimmers. In individual packets, you know, I've shown that before. We have these single packets, but we don't sell every color of the shimmer in those. Uh, you can look online though and find a, let's see if I can find it real quick for you guys. There's a, um, if you wanted like a variety of colors, 
see if that's what I'm waiting for that right now. I am waiting on that one. Let's see, where's our pace? Here's the pace is in the front. And we do have some palette packs. So if you look up in the front of the catalog or you look online, you're gonna look under paste. And when I say paste, that's just chalk paste. It's wet chalk, uh, not the ink. You're gonna look at the paste. And we do have a grateful pack. And it has the current jam, which is a really pretty berry color that I do not have, but I do have on my list uh, to get. Um, and then Shimmer Pumpkin, which I, I've shown you guys before and I'll be using. And then Shimmer Harvest, which is what we're going to use here. And then uh, Pesto, which I don't have a big one of, but it's a green. It's just not Shimmer, but it's a, it's a green. And then um, Camel which I don't have either, but it's a pretty brown and then bright white. So you could do that if you wanted to have a variety of, um, of paste. You would get one, two, three, four, five. You get six different single uh, packets of those colors. So one of each of those colors that I just mentioned. And that may get you all through all your fall projects. So anyway. Let's just go, let's do it. Okay, so this is our brand new uh, transfer. It's brand new, I have not used it. And I'm chalking, I'm gonna set my backer sheet aside. Remember I have a shiny side and a flat side. Always stick it back on the shiny side so you don't ruin your transfer. It's sticky on this side and not on this side. But that's our silk screen area. We're gonna put our paste through and make our design on our cutout. I am going to um, fuzz this because I'm putting it on wood and because it's the first time I've used it, I want to be, you know, real careful with it. Make sure I've done it enough times. Um, a lot of this is going to hang over. Obviously you can tell, right? It's not going to fit completely. It's not going to just stick on there all the way. But that's why I say you can use this in other places. You're going to want that to be sticky. But I am going to fuzz it just a little because I want to make sure it's brand new. I just want to add some fuzz to it, make it a little less sticky, okay? All right. How is your weather where you are today, guys? And do you have allergies like I do? Ooh. Bear with me while I'm lining this up. I'd love to know where you're watching me from. Or just say hey. And if you would hit that heart button... I love having you come along and craft with me. It's much more fun to craft with friends. There we go. And this is made to perfectly fit. So I'm just making sure because every area that I can see through is where my paste is gonna go. So I wanna make sure I have it on here lined up easy enough to do and if I don't I just keep moving it until I get it once I have it lined up I am going to smooth it out okay let's see and in this case like I said you don't have to fuzz it a lot because this whole big part you see the back of it is not even sticking to anything so um, the main part that's sticking are these little the little shapes you see in there, right? So the white space is where our color's gonna go in. So I just wanna make sure I have it smoothed down. I have it on there even so that it's gonna cover my whole surface nicely. And this is probably the longest part of the whole project. And that's only because I'm trying to be really exact with the shape. I hope you're, I can't believe it's Thursday and I cannot believe it is the last day of the month. Last day of September, I don't even know. I feel like I blinked and September went by. Do y'all feel that way or is it just me because I'm getting older? And you know what happens, as soon as October gets here, it's like, bam, you fly through the rest of the year. Okay, I think that'll be fine. And I'm just smoothing it out, making sure that my, um, my, my transfer is adhering to my surface. 
so that it doesn't move around when I go to put on my paste. Okay, so we decided on, this one is the Shimmer Crimson and Shimmer Harvest. Isn't that gorgeous? I have one um, place downstairs in my home. I think I might have some more put away for Thanksgiving, but I have one like big stalk of the wheat um, and it's real wheat, I'm sure. See how pretty that is? Got that little reddish brown look to it. Um, and I put it out for the decorations and it has fallen over like three or four times because I'm still moving things and rearranging things. And oh my gosh, that stuff is so messy. It is so messy. Now I understand why they say like, you know, that people would go behind the, the harvesters and glean the fields about there's, it's a mess. It's everywhere. So I need to vacuum it all up, but I figured I'd wait until I was done and then, and then vacuum it up. But it, this is, this is what that's, what it reminds me of. It obviously could be a sunflower too. Um, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little bit of this. Oh, I'm going to scrape it actually off the side, put it in the middle. I'm not good about keeping my edges clean guys um, of my jars. These are three ounce jars. You can purchase them as well. They'll last you a long time. You'll get a lot of projects out of them and the, and the paste holds up. You don't have to worry about it. But basically what I'm going to do is just take some and I'm just going to dab it. And remember, if you watched me do it the other day, it's better to have too much than not enough because, uh, you want to make sure your it goes through. So, I'm not going to mix, I don't want to mix my colors, so I'm going to keep that uh, little spatula separate. And if I decide I really need some more gold, or, or it's not gold. See, this is gold. That's the difference. That is gold. Uh, if, I, if I need more of the Shimmer Harvest, then I can grab some more. But I'm just going to. And then just add some. And I can't wait. And I got some on me. That's why you always keep a little baby wipe or wet paper towel beside you. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I, I don't want to blend the color. I don't see how I say it. I always struggle with this part. I don't really want to blend the colors. I don't want them to combine and make a new color. I want them to just kind of um, not mix. I guess I, I don't know. I don't know what the right word is. You all come up with the right word. Let me know. <laughs> but I want to be careful not to mess with it too much. This is our squeegee. We use these. These are reusable. This is what we use to apply our chalk paste or our chalk ink and they're washable in the sink with water as well. So I'm just gonna be real careful to not go over it a bunch of times because I want the colors to, I wanna see both colors, okay? So I'm just gonna pick a spot to start and just kind of drag it. I'm pushing and pulling at the same time. And I'm just kind of dragging it across and I'm pushing it into the silk screen area. Like I said, I don't want to manipulate it too much because I don't want it to make its own new color. I want to be able to see both of the sh colors in there. So, and look at all that extra. Oh, it's gonna kill me. I hate having extra. But I want to make sure I've covered everything. So I may go around the outside and just be sure everything is covered I can t and and when I go to pull it across or pull it off sorry pull off my transfer look at all that goodness oh my gosh it's so pretty do you see that I don't know I can't even get rid of it I don't have to think of something else to do with it okay so I probably had too much on there that's usually what I do I still have a hard time so we're I'm gonna peel it back slowly to make sure I covered everything that I didn't miss any area. And if I didn't get it on enough in one area, I am messy today. Then I'm gonna lay it back down and put it back and get more. And I really don't want it 
to just be a different color. I want it to be. All right, guys, you ready? This is our peel and reveal. Ta-da! Okay, let's see if I can do it where you can see it. What do you think? Isn't that pretty? That is so pretty. I love that. Now, something else I just thought of I could have done. Always after the fact, but maybe I'll do it. If I do it on my door, I'll do it. I could have taken one of the colors, the base color. Hi, Suzanne, how are you? Um, what I could have done was I could have taken a baby wipe with my crimson, uh, shimmer crimson, and I could have covered my whole acorn block, my wood block with it, and then dried it, and then used my, my transfer and my shimmer harvest by itself, put this on top of it, my shimmer harvest by itself and gone over it. And then the areas that you see white would have been the shimmer crimson and then the ones, the rest of it would have been my harvest. That would have been pretty too. And it kind of makes it just stand out more, right? Um, or I could have just done it all in crimson and it would have been pretty. But you guys decide, I'm gonna set this aside. I'm gonna take my transfer and I'm gonna put it down on my little, uh, my dish dry mat, I'm gonna spray some water on it until I can get it to the sink and wash it, okay? Just to keep it so that the chalk paste does not um, dry in it. I'm gonna set my little acorn up there, close up these, and I'll just wash all this in the sink. And like I said, I'm gonna to have to decide what to do with that extra, because it's beautiful. I may put it in a little jar. I keep little jars handy for, uh, especially when I've combined colors in case I want to use it for another project later. Create my own project. So I'm going to set that aside so I don't get into it. Okay, let's do our oak leaf next. Okay. Again, I'm taking my transfer, and this is my fuzzing cloth. If you don't have a fuzzing cloth, just use a towel. Use, um, you know, any kind of hand towel, dish towel. Use your clothes, whatever. Just something to give you some... Um, fuzz on the back of it since it's brand new so that it doesn't stick too much. I really like that idea. I think I'm going to try that on the door. I think that will be cool. It'll really add to, I could even do that on my microwave. Ooh, maybe I'll do it on my refrigerator instead. Hmm. I took my, I love you to the fridge and back off my refrigerator the other day so that I could put some fall, some fall thing up there. I don't know, I might do this on it, I don't know. The possibilities are endless. That's what I love about it. I can use it as many, oh, my hands are messy. As many times as I want, let's clean it out, wash it up, dry it, and go do another project. That's what I love. All right. Now, because there's so much silk screen area showing with these guys, I might want to buff it a little bit more. Let me buff it just a little more. Don't overdo it on the um, on your wax and make sure you buff it out really good. And then just make sure that you press down really well on the little areas that are touching um, on your Sorry, I'm concentrating. Uh, that are touching on your wood, on your surface, on the on the cutout. If you're using these cutouts, okay? Because you're gonna have a little bit of overhang, just the tiniest bit, and you're only gonna have a little bit grabbing it. And you want to make sure that you're it's holding on good. So that's my advice. All right, I love these cutouts. They're so pretty. I, I've almost finished decorating. And of course, then it'll be time to start pulling out Halloween. Now I'll wait a little, another week or so before I pull out Halloween. I don't like it up that long. I just kind of layer on top of the fall with the Halloween. But um, as I was decorating, I feel like I'm missing some things and I don't know if I'm missing a bin of stuff 
or if I got rid of things last year. Because I feel like last year I did get rid of some stuff. I was like, oh, I'm tired of that, I'm tired of that, I'm tired of that. But I'm, as I'm decorating, I feel like I have some holes and I'm like, I need more things. Where's my stuff? So I don't know if I got rid of it or I just haven't been able to find it. But all this loveliness that I'm making is going to fill in the gaps. So I don't have to go shopping. I'm, I didn't even know this at the time last year when I did this. All right, I think that's good, guys. All right, I just want to make sure, be careful with them while you're doing these, just because there's not a whole lot sticking around on the sides, okay? All right, so we decided we were going to do the purple and copper like I did on the pickup truck. So, again, I'm just going to grab some and dab it down here, there, and everywhere. And you decide. Maybe you don't want as much copper. Maybe you don't want as much purple. I say purple. It is plum. It's considered plum. You pick how much colors you want. Uh, how much of which color, right? I don't think I'll need any more, so I'll go ahead and put that up. I have to pull out another tray. And then let's get some copper on here. Let's see how pretty that is. with me what color would you make your leaves would you do them you know you could just do them red and like primary colors you don't even have to use shimmers I'm just partial to the shimmers all right I have a feeling I have too much again but what are you gonna do I'm just guesstimating all right, I need another squeegee. I'm just using my mini ones. Okay, I'm trying to make sure, figure out where I'm gonna start and get a hold of it. Just hold it this way. Okay, can you see everything all right? See, I just dabbed everything on there, made it messy. And I think, because my transfer is not sticking, I think I'm gonna go away from me and just hold it here. And I'm trying to push it into my silk screen area, applying a, you know, fairly decent pressure. And on the edges, I need to just kinda of go a little lighter because I am going off the side as y'all can see. I want to make sure all my silk screen's covered. Oh, this one is going to be pretty, you guys. Again, not manipulating it too much because I don't want it to just become a new color. I want to be able to see both of those lovely shades. but make sure you've covered it all. And I will tell you, this is not a beginner technique. What I'm showing you is not a beginner's technique, okay? This is more intermediate. So you can just as easily do one, pick one fabulous color for each leaf and do it in one color. And it will still look amazing. A leaf or for the, oh, look at that, it's so pretty. Um, for the leaf or for the acorn, okay? It's still gonna look great, set that aside. All right, let me go, start peeling off and see if I got everything. So just peel it back slowly in case you need to put it back down and add a little more to it. Oh, it's so pretty. This is gonna go so nicely with my truck. If I have it on the purple side, you still haven't voted, I want you to vote purple, and copper or the teal and silver on my on my vintage truck. Go back and look at it. I haven't posted a picture yet because I was waiting for an area to style it. Okay, take my transfer and when I'm done today, I'm just spraying it with water. But when I'm done, I'm gonna take it to my sink with cold water and clean it so that I can reuse it for all these other ideas I'm coming up with. But what do you think? 
Isn't that pretty? It's so pretty. Can hold it anyway. I could even see this, I know it's not, but I could even see this in red and white or green and white. Just reminds me of a Nordic print. I love that, that is so pretty. Isn't that nice? Okay, so we got two done. It's not taking too long, right? No, we're doing pretty good. I've talked a lot, that's a big surprise. Oh, the sun's trying to come out too, do you see that? Hopefully it's not too much. Let me shut the blinds so it's not too much. All right, I'm just gonna buff this again and make sure I don't have too much wax on it. And now we're gonna use our orange and green on our maple leaf. Do you guys love this project? So now the next time you see these, I'll be doing them in Halloween versions. Uh, probably will wait a few weeks, but because I have some other ones to show you, some other Halloween stuff. I'm gonna start showing Halloween ideas um, probably this weekend because there's so many to show you some ideas uh, and find out who might be interested in, you know, getting your input on which projects you want me to do because there's so many good ones for that too. There's so many projects. I just could just do this all day, every day. If only I didn't have to clean. Uh-oh, you guys, wait a minute. Guess what, I didn't check. Okay, so apparently with this transfer, and I didn't check that. So with this one, the other two I made out fine, I didn't check it. So there's, you see how the stem is angled one way or the other? So check that before you go to do it. So this, I had prepared this side with the wax. Um, but this is the side I'm going to have to put it on because when I went to try to put it, line it up, you can see that the little part at the bottom is not right. So I need to do this other side. So just pay attention to that. The other two I made out all right with. I didn't even pay attention to it and it did fine. Yeah, that was fine. I didn't have any problem. So I'm just going to add a little tiny bit of wax to this side. Gosh, that wood eraser does not want to leave me alone. I don't need you. So just a little. And you don't have to use wax on every surface, just some surfaces. Chalkboards for sure, no, you don't. For metal, you don't. For fabric, you don't need anything. You don't even have to fuzz. And for, oh, I didn't buff it though. Um, glass, plastic, you don't have to use wax. It's really just the wood. You could use it on the metal if you wanted, but I don't. Because I'm not taking it off more than likely or not worried about it. Okay, that's better. Now it fits. I did, I, that didn't even cross my mind. It did as I was putting the first one on there, but I was like, oh no, it works. Because I was thinking, oh, is there a front side and a back side? They're not labeled, so just look at them when you go to do them. You'll be able to tell. The maple leaf is the only one that I can see. The oak leaf is probably too, I just got lucky. The acorn obviously I think is irrelevant because it's the same on both sides. But the maple leaf and the oak leaf, just make sure you've got the right side prepared with your wax for your project before you try to put your transfer on it. And just do your best. See, there we go, got it all lined up. That's better. That's what I was talking about here at the stem of the leaf. All right. And I think with this one, I'm definitely gonna go with more orange and uh, more of the shimmer pumpkin and less of the shimmer olive, isn't it? Yes, because I'm gonna pretend like this leaf is in process of changing, but it's almost there. Because that's one of my favorites. What's your favorite uh, fall leaf? Also love the plum color, like, um, like the Japanese maple and the ones that turn plum, like a plumish, a reddish purple. So I'm 
I'm definitely going to have more of my, I don't know, guys. I might run out of my shimmer pumpkin before I'm done with pumpkin projects. That would be horrible. To order another one of that guy. Okay, so. All right. I'm going to hope that's enough. Because you, you guys saw how much extra I had left on both of the other ones, right? I'm pretty sure I got enough on there. I tend to over, be overzealous when it comes to this kind of stuff. Okay. And maybe you just want all of your leaves to coordinate and do them all three in the same colors. Well, your leaves and your, and I'm going to do the stem mostly green. Your leaves and your acorn, maybe you want them all to be the same, uniform. Or maybe you're really particular and you're going to go research it and find out if it matters to you. Go find out what colors they change to. Because I know, you know, there's some that are just yellow. They're just going to be yellow. All right. I think that's going to be enough green. We're just going to add a little bit of green. Although that does not look like a little bit of green. That looks like a lot of green. About the same. Anyway... One more squeegee. Okay, I'm gonna use my small one for this. This this is available in my um, online store, this size, by itself, single. The minis, they come in a big pack. But to people who sign up to my club, I will send you one as my thank you. Okay. Ooh, I got fuzz or something on there. Just make sure, because these are reusable. I've washed it in the sink, I've used a wipe. And then I probably used a towel to dry it, or a paper towel, so. All right, let's do this. Start here. So apply a little bit of pressure, not super firm, but enough that you're pushing the paste, the chalk paste, which is just wet chalk, through your transfer, okay? And this would have looked pretty too with the shimmer um, olive and papaya or papaya and pesto. You don't have to get the shimmer colors. I'm putting it down when I get to the edges because I want to make sure I don't miss it. Look at that. Just going back over, making sure I don't have too much extra. Kind of very lightly now, just pulling it, pulling off the extra. And then I'm just going to peek and pull it off slowly to make sure I got everywhere. And then I'll show you. I don't know. This might be my favorite. That might be my favorite. That would be so pretty in red, though, too. Like for a maple, for Canada. There we go. What do you think? Isn't that beautiful? But that would be just as pretty in papaya and pesto. And I think you can get those in the single. Isn't that beautiful? You guys, look. We got all three of them done. Three. Now, they're not dry. That one is not dry yet either. And that was the first one we did. But they'll all be dry soon. Probably about 10 minutes or so. 5, 10 minutes. See? Sometimes it takes a little longer for them to dry if you've done them in wax. Or, I mean, you've waxed something. Let's see if I can put them up here. Is my shirt too distracting to show you? All of them same time look don't you love them I am so happy with these <gasps> these are gonna look great with my rest of my decor isn't this awesome do you guys love them 
Oh, there we go. Which one's your favorite? The maple with the two, the orange and green. The acorn, which is adorable with the copper and crimson. No, harvest and crimson. Or the oak leaf with the purple, the plum and copper. Tell me which one's your favorite in comments, okay? Um, I think that's it. That's all that I have for you today. I'm going to take all my stuff to the sink, wash it out, let it dry, and come up with some other ideas of places I can use them um, and figure out what I'm going to do with these lovely colors that I just created when I mixed them together. Um, I don't believe I'll be able to do a live tomorrow because I have a very busy day running around and I won't be home. So I don't know. We'll see. Depends on what tomorrow evening looks like. Tomorrow evening, who knows? I might jump on here and just say, hey, let's do something. Um, today's the last day of my club. But if you have any questions about the project I did today, just put it in the comments or send me a message. I'd be glad to help you um, see the information on that. And hit that heart button for me if you don't mind. Sprinkle it to your friends. And join me next time. I love to see your comments and questions and interact with you while I'm doing my lives. It makes it much more fun to craft with you. But I think that's it, guys. Have a great rest of your Thursday afternoon. It's not quite 4 o'clock here, so I've got a little bit of time to get wrapped up before I go get my little guy. But um, I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day. And if I don't see you, you know I hope you have a great Friday. I'll be touching base in the morning. Thanks, guys. See you next time.